The city's affordable housing department works closely with Central Oregon Veterans Outreach to provide housing for both men and women veterans. Take a look. Well, what we have here is a project done with the City of Bend, the State of Oregon, and the Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development. And typical of affordable housing projects, this one has approximately six different funding sources involved for a project that's going to provide affordable housing for veterans in the City of Bend. COBO is an organization that uh, goes out into the camps, the street corners, the uh, homeless shelters, and we interact with people uh, in their own environment. Uh, and it's not just veterans serving veterans, but veterans continuing to serve. Some of these veterans may be homeless, some may be at risk of homeless, some may just be in need of some affordable housing. One of the unique things about this project is that these were uh, bank-owned, foreclosed-upon properties. There are three fourplexes that are side to side. The first one we purchased is the center fourplex, and that one we have completely rehabilitated. We're now in the process of purchasing the other outside fourplexes, so that when we're done, we will have 12 total units here. With the help of this, these uh, six um, uh, organizations uh, that helped come together to fund this, we're able to buy this building outright and pass the savings along to the veterans who are living here. If you look at the population in Bend of veterans, it's actually much higher percentage-wise than the rest of the state of Oregon. And then if you look at the low-income population of veterans in Bend, again, it's exponentially higher than the rest of the state of Oregon. This is a project we've been working on for several years uh, now to begin to provide per permanent supportive housing. I lost my home and I went into Covo on a different matter and they told me that they had a situation that might work for me and they got me involved in this project and here I am today uh, happy living in my new place. When we uh, learned about these properties, came over and looked at them, I had my doubts as to whether they could ever be rehabilitated. There was uh, all kinds of trash and filth uh, everywhere, uh, water stains on the walls. Um, uh, the condition was, uh, was really incredibly poor. Well over half of the funding that was provided for these is being used for the rehabilitation. Uh, most of these units have sat vacant for well over two years. Uh, a couple of them had some very serious water damage. All of them had uh, mold issues. All of them had electrical issues, plumbing issues. They were just in very, very poor shape. There are six different funding sources in this project. Uh, two federal funding sources, two state of Oregon funding sources, and two local city of Bend funding sources. These range from everything from the neighborhood stabilization program down to a grant written by the city of Bend to get uh, solar energy, uh, actually solar water heater systems on these units. This project is a wonderful example of uh, collaboration between state, county, federal, uh, uh, private organizations. Without Covo and the city of Bend, I would be homeless right now, and with all my medical situations, I would probably be in very dire straits. Central Oregon Veterans Outreach is turning into one of the best partners that the City of Bend has in this region for providing housing, uh, particularly low-income housing. Covo actually is going to be in ownership of these units. They're going to provide counseling to the people that are here. They're going to provide them a place to live. Covo and these veterans wouldn't be in, this, uh, in these units right now had it not been for the hard work and the vision that uh, Jim Long and the City of Bend's Affordable Housing Advisory Committee and the City Council themselves uh, uh, put into this. They uh, made the, the, the funding available to us through the Affordable Housing Committee helped us um, uh, with writing up the scope of work to find a contractor, followed through all through the process, and now we're reaping the rewards.